Welcome back to Let's Play Little Miss, the DLC chapter for Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're out here in the forest ruins. Why don't you let me do the looking now? Kiss me, oh, we're back here. I don't want your help. I can find her myself. Well, actually, just yeah. Alright, well, there's a glass. Is this the one I've already been through? Have I conned through this area? I thought I got a checkpoint. Alright, that's good to know. I think I did find that last time. Excuse me. I can't even begin to understand how that thing is affecting Dark Natalia while real Natalia is all the way over there, but, uh... Mind you, I don't think anything about her makes any sense, so, you know, fair enough. Hang on, is this just that area I've already... Mm, this isn't good. No, no, this is new. Right, yeah. What? Yeah, Natalia. I don't know why this doesn't say, you know, X over A. Since there's also an X button, I realize that probably wasn't very helpful. Hmm. I don't know, I'm just in a weird mood today. I found out a thing about, uh, the other DLC chapter, and I don't know what to make of it. Okay, do you move, like, far enough to see once we're in this building? can't actually tell when you're facing unless I look at you from the side. Now how the fuck am I going to do this? I do have some, so that's good. Let's just go for it. myself into this bush. So what I heard about the other DLC chapter is one of the reasons it's called The Struggle. And that's that... Well... How the fuck am I gonna get past this guy? It's... You know when you die and you hit retry, and it loads, and then you're not dead anymore? Well, in the struggle, you have limited continues. You have to earn them. And if you don't have any, and you die for any reason whatsoever, then it deletes your save, and you have to start the DLC over again. And I'm not sure I want anything to do with that, to be honest. Hardcore mode has never been something that interests me, and, uh... I don't know. I don't know if I even want to attempt that, and that really depresses me, because I've made it this far. to see this damn thing. It's fog amongst fog. Alright, it looks like I might be able to get from, like, here to the bush while it's facing that way. Okay, yeah. I really wish that when you were Dark Natalia, it put a pointer over where regular Natalia is. In fact, I think I've passed her already. Yeah, she's right here. Oh, 
no duck, remember, they can still see me. Oh god, oh god! that animation up, but I wouldn't have noticed that if I hadn't rotated the camera. They had the wrong mouth moving for that first line. So it was, uh... Well, it was literally Natalia talking to herself instead of figuratively. Right, she ducks automatically. I forgot about that. What do you want? Other than presumably that removed from your leg. Oh, it's this place. Oh yeah, this. You're no fun! Boy, conspicuous much? I can see that guy, so I'll just tag this one. I'm of several minds about the struggle now, and I don't know what to do. On the one hand, uh... It sounds like it's, uh, just the biggest bummer ever if you... Wait, is this... Oh, I see, right. So either I sacrifice a bottle and just run past this guy, or I have to... Actually, I'm not really seeing any other options here. Looks like I have to sacrifice a bottle and get into the smoke while the thing is facing the other way. Shit. I hope you have health insurance. Obviously it would be a huge bummer if I started the, the struggle and I had to start over. But, uh... At the same time, I'm wondering if I'm just making a mountain out of a molehill, and it's just like... You know, it's technically, if you run out of continues, you, uh, die forever, but, uh... You know, maybe it's, uh... graded so that, uh, you can get through it in a reasonable amount of time. You know, maybe it's not actually that difficult even with limited continues. Maybe that's just there to, you know, make it stressful. Well, by the way, if that is the case, mission fucking accomplished. Where are you even going? Where are you going? I thought he went back and forth over here. Maybe it would be easier if I just waited for him to be over there and then through the smoke. I can't fucking see. Oh god. There's nowhere else to look. Poor body. You never found her. No one asked you. I'm not losing her like I lost my mom and dad. Is she that important to you? You've gone crazy, Natalia. I'm not crazy. I just don't want to be alone anymore. I don't want to be sad. I can take that sadness away. If 
You let me in. You just have to trust me. I don't know you. You're not me at all. I want Lottie. Why won't you make this easy? Jeez. She's gonna have like a hundred years of therapy after she gets off this fucking island, I gotta tell you that. I don't know, chime in in the comments of the or two cents about the, uh, about the struggle. And, uh, there was, yes, here it is, a comment I wanted to read, uh, from Derek Floyd, who you'll remember was, uh, the helpful friend who told us all about the real-world equivalents of the guns I was collecting in the main game. But this comment says, Natalia doesn't get any guns in this scenario, so what do I say? Uh, go Burning Dog Face! Sneak past those monsters! Solve those puzzles! Reach the ending! <laughs> Can't help but notice there isn't a letter in here. Oh, there's a do back door. Oh, of course there is. I think Barry approached it from the other side. You know, so we couldn't see the window. Hmm. But yeah, nice to have the, uh... The enthusiasm and the support. Even if there are no guns to describe here. The fuck am I doing? I'm just gonna go hide back here. I'm gonna just glide around as the silent one. Oh, I don't like that noise. Oh yeah, you can, you can hear her footsteps here when she sprints. At least I could for a second there, I could hear the grass crunching under her feet. Okay, maybe the grass is just strangling itself, I don't fucking know. Oh yeah, I read that apparently this bit was another fucking Kafka reference. There's a, a story by Kafka. Uh, it's a first-person perspective story from the perspective of a bridge. And at the end of the story, the bridge, you know, in quotes, dies by collapsing. So a bridge collapsing was meant to be another Kafka reference. You'll remember this is the spot I was standing when I was talking about how, what a nice view it is, but sadly the purple haze is uh, getting in the way. I'm coming. Right. Yeah, it's already collapsed because uh, Claire has been through here, but uh, I don't know how to get over there. Body. Natalia, I don't think I can go on any longer. You'll find what's left of me on the beach ahead. I'm coming for you, Wadi. I mean, let's face it, it's probably already nailed to a board in, uh, Wesker's lair. What? A 
boat. I'm here, baby. Please be alive. Record achieved, Lottie fractured. I'm not scared. Okay, I have to admit I wasn't expecting to be quite that close. I had heard the DLC chapters were short, which is one of the reasons I am, in fact, contemplating the struggle. But, uh, damn. I thought for sure there'd be at least one more zone. Like, you know, the, the beach level or something. I guess that was the beach level. Okay. Uh, no, that's not it. Man, where the hell were the, uh, the records? Here they are, records. Oh, right, got all of- yeah, that's the, uh, the Platinum Trophy equivalent. What? I'm my only friend. Clear extra episode two, Little Miss, without using Dark Natalia's pointing. Ooh. Not included in the clear conditions. Oh, that's because they're DLC. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I did know, you know, they're called extra episodes, so I assumed they'd be about the length of uh, one chapter in the game. But I still kind of expected it to be longer than that. S rank it. Oh, I did get that one. Red. Uh, do it without ever being seen. Oh no, I don't want to look at that. Uh, those are the, the ones about the, the struggle. I have not looked into anything about the, the story, except that I... I'd say I'm about 80% confident that this, uh, it's about how Moira survived on the island for the six months between uh, Claire having to leave her behind and then showing up to save Barry in the uh, the boss fight. Huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the medals mean. Yeah, okay, so it's the it's check marks, yeah. Excuse me. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. There aren't any afflicted in uh, episode four, I should note. I didn't know you could destroy any at all. Yeah, yeah, zero out of uh, 30. I never actually tried shooting the ones that were, you know, made of fucking metal. Ah, that's what those guys were called. I didn't, oh, again, didn't know you could do that. Feed a glass with a fucking knife? What? Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, this is kill two guys with one shot, and the other one is specifically for headshots. I thought they were the same for a moment there. I didn't know there were even that many. Oh, yeah, uh... That's not it. Yeah, the light, apparently the reason they were so sensitive to light is because Wesker locked them up in the dark or something for years at a time. That's why, I don't know why they were steaming when you pointed it at them. I don't remember that. Cosplayer. Oh, right, yeah, duh. Interesting. More bullets, 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 bullets. Um, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. Ah, oh, yes, view the good ending. 
Ward's sniper Clara costume, which... I thought she was just wearing a clean version of the clothes in the main game. Didn't seem like a different outfit to me, but I will assume that is correct. The weapon that keeps on... The, me the magazine that keeps on giving. No ordinary knife. What is it, a katana or something? Ah, uh, the bowgun. No idea what's up with that. Alright, um... Yeah. I've never actually played raid mode, so I don't know why I have one raid record. Let's just go real quick. Nothing. Nothing has a check mark. I don't know why it said that. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do add other characters into the raid mode. I was aware of that. You know, Chris Redfield, Leon, Joe. Uh, apparently they have a DLC character that's, uh... Well, it's like the cross-play version of Hunk. They just call her Lady Hunk. And it's basically the Hunk outfit, except uh, being worn by a woman who has her legs heavily exposed, and there's a hole in the chest for no reason that exposes her cleavage. Because, of course, there is. You know, even on the character who never takes a gas mask off, there has to be a sexy element. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about that. I sneezed right in the middle of my outro. So, uh... I'm Burning Dog Face, and this has been Little Miss, the DLC chapter for Resident Evil Revelations 2. I hope you had a good time, and, uh... hope you have a good day while I go do some thinking about the struggle. If I do decide not to play it, I'll probably make a short video just to acknowledge some things I wanted to say before the series was over. But, uh... Either way, I'll see you on my next video, guys. Later!